For most students, living in West Campus apartment is safe, but not for Jefferson 26 resident Amanda Winslow. Amanda was stabbed after a night out. The attack left a scar that has her wanting to move far away. KVR's Natalie He has a detail on what happened that night. The paint on this Jefferson 26 window behind me says it would be scary living anywhere else, but for one resident, living here is scary. I saw a guy like standing there facing the pool and I didn't think anything of it because like it's not out of the ordinary. It was nothing out of the ordinary for Amanda Winslow, just another night out partying with her friends. But when walking back to her apartment, she took the elevator instead of the stairs. Next thing I know, he like has one arm around my arms and like one arm like on my face real fast. He like moved his arm, pulled out a knife and just like slashed me and then he turned and sprinted away. Amanda started bleeding and had to act fast. What do I do now? Like, I need to get to the hospital. Who can I call? But at this point, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. Amanda wrapped a towel around her arm and drove herself to the hospital. She called her parents, who drove from Houston to Austin that night. The next day, they tried contacting Jefferson 26 and the police, but did not receive any help. We waited till um, like 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock the next day when the office opened, and my dad went and told him, and they were basically just like, Oh, that's unfortunate. Like, kind of sucks for her. This is the same hallway that Amanda walked through to get home that night. If you look down the hallway, there's not one camera installed. The guy that does look at, like, run the videotapes and look at him says that people get attacked all the time. But few people know about these incidents. We spoke with several of Amanda's neighbors, and they all said this attack was news to them. So we contacted Graystar, who owns Jefferson 26. They responded with a statement saying, quote, we are cooperatively working with the police in the investigation of the alleged incident. Every time I walk by day two six, like my hands start shaking and like I don't like I don't like walking by it at all. Like I'll go a different route just not to walk by it because it like scares me. Natalie He, KVR News. Graystar declined to comment on any further plans they have to install more cameras and increase security. APD Detective Paul Biden also declined to comment because he said that the case is now part of public litigation.